Welcome back to my vlog channel. Today we are headed to an inn and it's really cute. Me and Tyler have been wanting to do a bed and breakfast in St. Augustine and this one looks very old timey and I thought it would be perfect because I am filming a holiday campaign for Penhaligans and because it is holiday themed, I wanna go to Bucky's because Bucky's has the cutest holiday decorations. Okay, so Bucky's is more than just a gas station. If you think Wawa is cool, wait till you see Bucky's. <laughs> Oh, so I know, they got the Christmas decorations. I'm getting cute baking stuff. Love these. It smells so good in here. We found a stray cat in the Bucky's parking lot and we happen to have cat food. Where are you, kitty? <laughs> We tried to get him to come see us, but he wouldn't come, but we left him food. He looked all wild, so cute. Also, this isn't my normal makeup. I am wearing these crazy doe eyes, so that tutorial will be up. And I also have a new obsession with color seasons. I know I'm not alone here, but I'm pretty sure I'm a soft autumn and I bought a bunch of clothes in my color palette. So a soft autumn haul is coming up. The old Powder House Inn bed and breakfast. This will be so bright and pretty in the sunshine. We're gonna have breakfast in there. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> oh. And this is what the room looks like. It's so cute and Tyler and I are gonna go hang out in downtown St. Augustine for the night. <laughs> You're so cute. How do you like it so far? Mm. This is it in a decanter, which reminds me of June's Journey, which I'll have to play at nine for my mom. Oh, is, it, is this a plug? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> We're trying out Colombia, the Spanish restaurant. Restaurant review. White chocolate bread pudding. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh. Sure. That was one of the best meals I've ever had in the dessert. Loves St. Augustine. She loves it so much. Good morning. Good morning. I still can't get over how good last night's meal was. Oh, you have to go if you're in the area. And today we're up bright and early because we want to film with morning light, but also. Taylor Swift tickets are at 9.30. I did get verified fans, so I'm waiting. I want to get this done before, before I have to focus on the tickets. My vanity station. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this looks That's stupid. So <laughs> Getting <to> nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Change to a red lip. This is one of my all time favorites called Helfetti. How's still going? 
I've got the filming done and now I'm in the Taylor Swift the Eras tour waiting room I am very nervous <laughs> like my stomach is in knots I really want these tickets and Tyler's been at breakfast and I'm like literally 10 steps away but I don't want to leave my computer and miss out on these um, tickets also who's banging Oh, I hope I get them, but he's gonna bring breakfast here. We're gonna eat it in bed and I'm really hoping I get these tickets But my computer looks like it's gonna die and I didn't bring my freaking charger five minutes Less than one minute Two thousand people are ahead of me Wow Taylor Swift we're coming I have to leave this in because checkout time is now and then I'll have to get on a different Wi-Fi but I think I don't know if I'll get tickets oh I'll have to try to get them a different way very sad goodbye old Portland Austin yes goodbye I didn't get my Taylor tickets <laughs> yeah but we're gonna put it hopefully let's roll boop let's roll on to the next one I just filmed this ponytail. This is a Barbie inspired pony and it was all like curled and pretty but I have been dancing around to Taylor Swift and my hair does not really hold a curl. But I wanted to share that I did get tickets. I just closed my computer and in defeat I almost exited my tab and Tyler was like, no, no, what are you doing? Just like close your computer and maybe when you get home you'll like miraculously be in. And that is what happened. I opened my computer and it said your session has started. I picked my two seats and then I was good to go and I was on the floor and it wasn't crazy priced so I just thought that was like everyone's experience and then I saw the aftermath and people had paid crazy amounts for the same seat so I don't know why I got so lucky there. I ended up getting the tickets so I'm very excited but I feel so bad for people who waited for like six hours and then still didn't get tickets. That's crazy. Anyways, I mentioned I was going to do a haul based on color seasons. So if you don't know what like the color season thing is, it's been all over TikTok. That's how I found it, especially from this creator. I'm blanking on her name, but that's who I've learned so much from. Is her name Ellie? No. I love her. Anyways, um, I think I am a soft autumn and what these color palettes mean is they take like your undertone of your skin, your undertone of your hair, how much contrast you have between your skin and hair, and basically everyone will fit into one of these seasons and through that you can find what your best colors are to wear, what will make you glow, what will maybe drown you out, and you might already be picking clothes that are in your color season just instinctively knowing what looks good on you. So most of my wardrobe did already suit this palette, but I specifically got some stuff that matched and I wanted to show you what I got. First up, this gorgeous top by Anthropology in the Soft Autumn palette. Since the contrast between my skin and hair is softer and a bit more muted, pastels and muted earth tones are great. This neutral mini dress was on sale, but the fabric was pretty thin and see-through, so even though I love the detailing up top, this one was my least favorite from the haul and I'm just too lazy to take it back. Another blue item, this is one of my favorite pieces. It's a comfy dress, I love the sleeves. The turtleneck is super comfortable and the little tie gives it some shape. I also have loved bows for forever and these just really stood out to me. I loved all the texture. So pretty. This beautiful clutch, this is on the Anthropology website but I thrifted it for cheaper. These earthy tones are beautiful. Well, the sun is going down, so I'm gonna continue this haul tomorrow. And I'm back with this holiday look. I just filmed this classic red lip and I've experimented with clip and bangs. I wanna find like the ultimate best way to do it. So these ones, they're slightly not the right color. I might color them, but otherwise, I think this look is super cute. I kind of feel like Taylor Swift with the red lip and Lily Collins. This reminds me of Lily Collins a lot. Let's get back to trying on these outfits. This is a statement top that I got and I loved, again, the plaid and the tones in here. It is kind of over the top with the sleeves and everything. I paired it with these faux leather shorts from Maritzia, but I'm not sure I like it. I think I would just go with like a black mini. But I feel like this is a good grown-up holiday top. This velvet brown top is from Free People, again great for the holiday season, and I like brown a little bit more myself than stark black. 
This is a very deep chocolate shade. Thrifted this top from Free People on Poshmark. Definitely could wear a bra with it, but you know, we're just trying it on. Interrupting this clothing haul to show you the coolest product. I saw this on Gabby's vlog and then they reached out to me and I was so excited because I thought this was such a cool idea. So one, it looks like a macaroon box and like a vintage powder puff, but it's actually a deodorant. Look at this. So you apply this powder to your armpits. I used it today and it worked amazing. And it smells very like vintage powdery. Oh my gosh. They have different scents. So this one is rose. Here are the different scents. Rose, lemon, lavender, and lime. I think my favorite's rose so far. This dress is one of my favorites ever. I love the cable knit. And if you wanna shop my closet, instead of me linking just every item below, you can go to my shop my site. I've created a whole closet on there so you can shop my closet. I also have all the products listed for each of my videos. And I'm now offering makeup advice. So if you want to write to me, I will have that link down below and then you can fill in the questionnaire and then I'll send to you a customized list of products as well as like a paragraph on how to use everything. So I hope you guys will use the service if that's something that you're interested in. And um, I think that's it for the haul. I hope you guys liked these items. I'm gonna go out to dinner because I'm all dolled up. So I thought it'd be fun and I will see you in my next video.